in the slave trade is going on here. Yeah. Shout out to Jess Hilarious. Black History Month. P. Coach K. Martin Luther King rolling over in his grave. Michael Max, they rolling. Here at Tubman, they rolling. George Washington, he's smiling. George Washington, the first president, he's smiling. Come on, man. You're going to sell it to Finesse. Scooter. Scooter don't know what to do with no rappers. Man, he don't know what to do with no city girls, no little baby. No Migos. He know how to manage Taylor Swift and Ariana Grande and uh, uh, Justin Bieber. Oh, Scooter. Don't think I don't know about you, Scooter. Hype. Hype America. I Ooh, I know uh, you. Just two weeks ago, you, you became the sole CEO. I study every label, every CEO. Oh, he will run you down. Scooter, don't do that. You started hosting parties. I remember you used to host parties. I remember when Eminem used to host parties after parties. Promote, uh, used to promote and uh, do after parties for Eminem. Uh, who else was hot at that time? Eminem, Ludacris. Yeah, Ludacris. Oh, I'm lying. I, said, oh, I bet you I ain't gonna say a legend. Ludacris. And then, I think like a year later, like a year, I, I don't know how JD, he found you. Probably through Ludacris, because he was doing that walking to Atlanta when the play is played, every ride of the thing. So JD, he found you. Yeah, he was like, what, 19, 20, 21? Yeah, you went to So So Delph. Yeah, that right. Matter of fact, you was the head of the marketing for So So Delph. That's what you did. You was the head of the market, and JD put you right there. And then you did that for about uh, a couple years, three or four years. And then, like, 06, 07. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I know, bro, school, I know all about you. Like, 06, 07, 08. I know around 07, 08, you started the SB Projects. You know what I'm talking about, the SB Projects. You just got one, a billion dollars. In the Ethica, uh, uh, Ethica, Ethica, the Ethica, uh, you got a billion dollars in Ethica, which uh, it funds the SB projects, which is a, a, a management firm that's behind Justin Bieber, Scooter, and Ariana Grande. Come on now, Scooter. Yo, that billion dollars. So that's why that's what you got that three hundred million from to buy uh, QC the label. You went in the Ethica account and took them three hundred million out the account. Yeah, you did. Shut up, boy. You knew you took them out of the Intercut account. That's yeah, you know, that's your SB that managed that's the management firm. Come on, you try you gonna try to put City Girls under the you gonna try to put Lil Baby. You gonna try to put all them QC artists. Ice Web is old. That's where you're going. You going to under them uh SB projects. <laughs> Ice Web. That's where you going, yeah. Don't think school ain't no Vanessa. He finesse Taylor Swift, Lil Baby, Quavo, Ice Web. Oh y'all, yeah. Listen, I'ma tell you. Uh, okay, he did the SB thing, right? The SB projects in 07. Then he got his own record label. It was called Big Machine. Big Machine, Big Machine, Big Machine. Because that's what Taylor Swift, she was signed to Big Machine. She dropped like five albums, six albums on there. Yeah, six albums. And let me tell you what the scooter, the finesse did. He went behind her back and he was buying the rights to her music. And guess what? Guess how much he dropped on it? The same amount of money he just dropped on buying QC the label. He spent $300 million on Taylor Swift rights. And he didn't give her no chance. He didn't give her a chance to buy her own rights. Going behind her back. Now he, yeah, finessed her. She worked hard. Sold all the records. And he buying the rights behind her back. So she uh, jack a beat or, re, uh, you know, redo the beats. And he'll go buy the rights. And he'll go, you know what I'm saying? Own everything. Because he had the money. And yeah, he finessed his way up. And now, because he wasn't... First, he just became the CEO. He was sharing it with Lenzo. Yeah, shout out to Lenzo. You know, I respect you. You're a veteran. Yeah, Len Lenzo, don't think I don't know about you. You just... You were sharing the, the CEO with uh, Hive. Hive America. Yeah, you yeah, you were just a CEO too. You're a veteran. I know about you. <laughs> I know about every label. Every CEO. So, other bloggers, they ain't gonna be able to go in detail like that. They ain't gonna be able to they ain't gonna be going like that, but I know ya. I know ya. Yeah, don't think I just be following the rap. I know ya, Scooter. And I know you gonna you gonna finesse them artists, cause you know rappers dumb. They they dumber than the Taylor Swifts and the uh the uh, Justin Bieber's.
So you go for that. They on drugs and all that. So yeah, you finna run up a big bag. They just don't know. They think you a good guy. You finesse your relationships. You, you want me to go there? You gonna leave that alone. I'm going to leave it alone until you do something else. So that way when you mess over an artist, I come back and hit you with the relationship because I know all about you. I've been studying. You see, I just, yeah, see how I say you was hosting the parties? I named the artist. I named, then you went, you got your own uh, SB in 07, and then you went and got your own label, Big Machine. You signed Taylor Swift. She dropped six projects. You spent 300 million. You bought all the rights. Now you with this. Yeah, you with Shannon. You built your everything up. Now you with that. Yeah, I know what you're trying to do, Scooter, and it ain't gonna work. It's gonna take a long time. BTS, they ain't gonna become no superstars. That's what you're trying to do. See, they don't know what I'm talking about. BTS, you trying to turn them into global superstars, and they ain't gonna happen. Yo, they gonna be local. Yo, they gonna be local around. They gonna be global. Yo, local. Yo, East Coast, West Coast. There, yo, like that. Global. Ooh, yo, a little bit more work. A little bit more finesse. Now the rappers, you may turn them global. Yeah, but it ain't been working, y'all. You, you did turn one though. Yeah, that, that's the goal. That's the whole goal. BTS, the global superstars. That's the dream. You think these rappers gonna fulfill that dream? These rock stars, they're not the number one genre no more. They don't move the culture like that no more. So yeah, you got to switch up your hustle. Switch up your artists. Time to bring these killers and gangsters and gang bangers and drug dealers and all these people. Yeah, time to bring them. How much money can we make off dead artists? Because these rock stars, they keep living. <laughs> Taylor Swift, she ain't dying. Uh, Ariana Grande. Justin Bieber, they just they do they do new drugs too. They do drugs too. They do sacrifices too now, but they they keep living. They don't be getting knocked off. So you got to wait a long time, a long, 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 long time for you get that money. But these rappers, you can uh, give some of them some money, and they might go to prison or go to jail or, or get knocked down in two years, three years, a year, five years, four years, and they done ran up ten million, twenty million. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, 40 million, 100 million, 200 million. It just depends. Or well, artists. So, uh, I can't believe P did that, man. But we don't know the business. Like, that's why everybody need to go subscribe to King AK47 because he was right. He was right. We was wrong. I said he was right and we was wrong. Yeah, uh, Offset ain't get into it with no Quavo. Yeah, yeah, we had it wrong. I had it wrong. You had it wrong. You, 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 you had it wrong. And King AK-47 had it right. I said King AK-47 had it right. So you got to go subscribe. That's why hey, different bloggers, they get different information. They get different. You got you to gotta subscribe to King AK-47 because, hey, he be getting the information. Yeah, yeah. It may not seem true at first, but it come to light. It come to light. And, yeah, he be right. He wrong, too. We all wrong. We all, yeah, ain't nobody right but 100% of the time. But God, Allah. Uh, Jesus and Buddha, they write all the time. So we flesh, we human, we in the flesh. So yeah, we be wrong. Yeah, we be wrong. It's good to be wrong sometimes. It's sell better. Yeah, the, the views, yeah, it's good to be wrong. Yeah, yeah, man. AK was on it, man. He got some good resources, man. It made sense. Yeah. Quavo, he went back there. Quavo was on stage or wherever he was at. He went back there. He ain't get, I'll say get us over him. Yeah. P, he done sold the whole company to Scooter. He done sold it to Scooter. I'll say he ain't know. He know he trying to perform on stage for Scooter. He got to change the plan. Scooter knows you. Scooter know more about the business than P do. More about the business than uh, Coach K. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he done had bigger artists. <laughs> he done had bigger artists. So, yeah, he know how to move some things around. So, he like, nah. Oh, you like, uh-uh. You, you ain't finna do this. You ain't finna come on stage. You ain't finna do this. Nah, 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 nah. Change the plans. And he ain't even know it. Damn. <laughs> Scooter them did a whole rock or you ain't even know it on him and yeah and he was upset about that and yeah they hit meaning it could have it could have been a little argument or a push and shove or back and forth or you know what I'm saying like AK was saying that's why Cardi said that you know both of y'all wrong let me take you something yeah let me take you something both of y'all wrong okay yeah yeah let me take you something yeah he tried Cardi before yeah so that much that made sense though. Yeah, uh, P didn't finesse, got 300 M's, gonna split it two ways. Yeah, finna split it two ways, no, three ways. Some going to the IRS, some going to Coach K, some going to you, P. Yeah, so y'all probably walk away about, there ain't no telling. Um, if it was just straight down the middle, it'd be 150 a piece, so 40% going to the IRS, so y'all may walk away with a hundred and some change. You know what I'm saying? Um, a piece. Probably pay um, the IRS almost a hundred. 
We might have to pay the IRS almost on Horner. But besides all that, to all QC artists, the new ones, the old ones, it don't matter. If they still got your masters, your publishing, whatever, your rights, Pete and Coach K just made it that much harder for y'all to get that done. Because <laughs> you could have, he still, you know, that's your own kind, so you still could work something out now. It ain't no love. It's straight, 100% business. It was like that before, but it could have been a little bit better with Pete. Now that Scooter got it, oh, man. You just don't understand Scooter. He done finessed and tricked, and he had put stuff out. Come on, man. Like, the stuff he did to Taylor Swift, you don't even understand. Like, um, man, he'll do it to you. He'll do it. And y'all, man, we black. So, you know, you know it, man. So I'm telling you, let me see all the QC artists. Because I'm going to tell you, most of y'all, y'all screwed. As far as like masters, you better be up in y'all show price and features. So you better be making them songs so you can get 100K a verse, 200K, uh, 400,000, 300,000 uh, uh, a show. That's what you better be focused on because your masters, city girls, y'all know y'all got a 360. You know y'all can't even read contracts like that. Uh, Migos, you know y'all contract. 360, uh, Lil Baby, nah, I don't know yours. He could have probably looked out for you. Lil Yachty, 360, you're done. Uh, Icewell, now Icewell could have been a different kind of deal. It could have been, because he still can be, you know, they still can be getting more, a little bit more, but I don't think he really just signed his whole rights away. I don't think that. Um, yes, you got, everybody else pretty much don't even really matter. You got, um, uh, Gloss up. She a new artist. They probably get her 360. You know what I'm saying? They probably get her 360. Uh, John Cinco. You know, it ain't matter, but he probably ain't got his masters. See, these artists, Skipper the Flipper. Skipper could be independent. He could still be signed, though. Who knows? But Skipper the Flipper, he be working, so he gonna do features and he gonna do shows, so He'll maintain his lifestyle with that. But I don't know about the masses and all that uh, to get the money off being a real artist, like selling records. It might be over with for that. Um, the old QC, I don't know, because you had Chill Will. Chill Will! He was on that Sean Kemp. Ain't no telling if he got his masters. You had Jose Guapo. Ain't no telling if he got his publishing or master. All, they all signed bad deals, though. Johnny Cinco. Uh... He probably signed a bad deal. He was just so happy to get some money and sign a deal and get a chain and, you know, get that look. So, they signed anything. Dirty Dave. Dirty Dave! Yeah. Carolina. He probably signed a 360 when he was with them. But they ain't really never pushed these artists. They was focused on the Migos. All the vision of QC, the label artists, ain't really work. They ain't get pushed. They was focused on the Migos and Rich the Kid. So, uh, Johnny Cinco, he suffered. Uh, Dirty Dave, Skipper the Flipper, yeah, uh, Jose Guapo, even though Jose Guapo was coming with bangers, um, Skipper the Flipper, he had a big buzz, um, Chill Will, he ain't get promoted like that, nah, they still gotta do their part, but they was working, but, you know, so with all that going on, you know, they're frustrated, the artists, and they gonna wanna lead the label, and everybody who left their career ain't go nowhere. Everybody who left us up, Rich the Kid, you know what I'm saying? And Skipper, he still got a nice buzz, you know what I'm saying? Um, that's pretty much it. So, uh, they had to rebuild. So, they rebuild with Migos and Rich the Kid. Then they start getting new artists. And now, they have the QC that you see today. But, you know, it took a lot of sacrifices, a lot of disappointments, a lot of guys, you know, was just there. But they couldn't get their shine because the Migos took off and Rich the Kid took off and all that stuff. Um, but as far as like the mixtapes and the streets, they was killing the streets. But on the mainstream, as far as like, let me put my album out. Let me, they ain't do that though. They let the Migos take the whole shine. That's how the Migos got so spoiled. And um, they started getting jealous when the baby came in. He took the top. If you want to say that, they got jealous or they weren't expecting another artist to come on the label and take their shine, not knowing that the fans, the people ain't going to keep the Migos on top forever. We want to hear something new. We don't want to keep hearing that same Migo flow as far as like keeping it at the top of the charts. Nah, we got a little baby flow. We got this artist, that artist. So everybody know 
the number one spot it ain't no owner. It's just you know uh, uh, borrowers. You going you number one now. He number one next week. She number one. So the number one spot ain't got no owners. Understand that. But that's pretty much what it is, man. Like I said, King AK, he was right. I feel like, yeah, like how he said, yeah, uh, Offset got into with Pete. It wasn't Quavo. It was over that label with Scooter, with Hype, um, America. And then, um, yeah, QC, they sold it to uh, Hype America for $300 million. And um, that's what it is. We're going to see what they do with QC, the label. Let's see if anything changed. Let's see. Let's see if the artists be more happy or, or they really start complaining. And P and Coach K like it's out of my hand. And they can start something else. They can start a new label and build it right back up. Who ain't going to trust they train of thought? You see what I'm saying? So, um, well, they can be done. Like, now nah, I ain't um, buy restaurants. Coach K already got Bojangles and stuff like that. I'm finna do that, invest in this. I may get one artist, but I ain't finna just run 10, 20 different artists. Who knows um, how they gonna do that? But um, yeah, man, there's a lot of stuff going on right now. But y'all tell me what y'all think about QC and uh, P and Coach K selling um, QC the label for 300 million to the other man, not the brother man, in the Black History Month. <sighs> Martin Luther King, it was him. He was with him! Yeah, Coach K, he was with him! Yeah, he sold it. Yeah, Michael Max, they sold it. You couldn't wait till March. But yeah, the money on the table now. The money on the table now, you know what I'm saying? So, 300 million up. So, I gotta, I ain't gotta tell y'all nothing. Y'all already know what to do. I ain't gotta tell y'all nothing. So, y'all drop the comments, man. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, man. 